Well, good morning. Welcome back to the kitchen. I'm up kind of early this morning. I'm going to get a couple of salad type items ready and I thought I would bring y'all along to see how I do it. Now, when I was growing up, my daddy in the summertime always had cucumbers uh, marinating or setting or whatever you want to call it on the counter and he would slice them up and put them in vinegar that was diluted with water and had salt and pepper. Well, I've jazzed it up just a little bit, but I still like to, and I can still smell that vinegar when you walked in the kitchen. I made some last year, and uh, April came up to visit, and she said, oh, this smells like pawpaw. Isn't that weird how sometimes things bring back memories? It's been many years since she smelled pawpaw's vinegar on his cucumbers in the kitchen. But, and then I'm going to make uh, a cucumber and tomato, a small cucumber and tomato salad. Let me show y'all how I make that. Maybe something that you'll want to add to your spring and summer uh, meals. So I'm going to bring you over here close where you can watch what these hands are doing and uh, wish you had a taste it. Now on my vinegar, I've got about a half of a cup of apple cider vinegar and a cup of water. And you can jimmy that back and forth till you get it uh, as tart as you like it. And then in the end, I'm going to add a little splash of rice vinegar in it. It, um, I just love the taste of that. I'll tell you what you can do with this. Slice you up a purple onion real thin and put this over it and let it marinate and put it on your sandwiches. Y'all, it is heavenly. So, as I think about it through this video, I'll tell you some more little tips. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt into my vinegar and I may have to put more later. We'll see. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of onion powder and sometimes that just kind of sets in there and it looks just like a bunch of granulated onion but it does add uh, and I'm just going to put probably an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder but it adds flavor to it and that's what we're all about is the good taste isn't it I mean you're, you seldom want to eat anything if it doesn't taste good so now what I do, I chop me some onion and I saved y'all watching me peel it. And I like to cut that little thing off the bottom. I don't like that little hunk of stuff there. And I just go around it and cut it in, you know, pieces like that to put down in there with the cucumbers. Y'all can slice it however you like to. I always say that, well my goodness, it's at your house, you can do what you want to do. I don't have to tell you you can do a peel that one good enough. So in my bowl here, I'm going to put a few slices of onion. Well, a few more than a few probably, but I love the flavor of the onion in there and I like to eat the onion when it's marinated in the stuff like that. That was a little thicker, but that'll be okay. Okay, let me get my scraps over to the side. Ooh, that's going to make me cry. Okay, now I'm going to show you something. That, why? I don't know. I would have always been told. You cut the end off of your cucumber and then you rub it around on the end of the cucumber and it keeps it from being bitter. So, you know, don't question old wisdom. Just do what they told you to do. Then I'm going to use my little favorite peeler again and peel it. If I don't use one of these, I peel half my cucumber away. Now, I'm going to show you something on the next cucumber that you can do to make it look kind of pretty. I would have done it on this one, but... I wanted some of the, I wanted to take the peeling off of some of them. Now this one I'm just going to slice up and put in there. Let me get a fork. Okay, on the, the next one, and I've washed these real good, y'all, because they're dirty from the store. I'm going to do the ends and rub it, but if you want to make it look scalloped, take your fork and just pull it through the peelings. 
into the cucumber and make lines all the way down. And we'll cut our end off, get the bitter out. And when we slice our cucumbers, when you've done them like this, see how it makes them have that little scalloped look to the edges? They just look pretty. Now when I leave the peeling on like this, I try to slice them pretty thin. Because sometimes that peeling's a little tough. I'm just going to put a few of these in here just for color. And then I'm going to put the one that I uh, peeled. I like an English cucumber. But folks, they were a dollar each, and they were on sale, I guess, because sometimes they're over a dollar. And these were uh, like 38 cents a piece. So yeah, I chose these. Growing up, this is all we knew. They just come up with stuff to make you spend more money. I do have a cucumber planted out there, a little bush. I've never done a bush one before. I hope that it stays in a bush and doesn't run all over creation like they usually tend to do. Okay, I'm just mixing it up a little bit. Now I want to put a few turns of black pepper in there. When you make this, you want to let it set for several hours. You can put it in the refrigerator. Daddy kept his on the counter. Um, you want to let it set so the flavors will get into the cucumbers. You could put some raw garlic in it if you wanted to, but I think that would be a little bit yucky. Got me a spoon here where I can taste of my... That's just about right. I'm using my good little old OXO bendable cup again. You just want to put this over it, and it's kind of like you just let them marinate. Spend their life in a good spa here. And I like to put mine lately in this little bowl that has a snap-on lid. Now, every now and then I can go by and kind of shake it up. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add just a splash of this vinegar. And you can do that to taste. It just gives it a different flavor. So that's one way to use your cucumbers um, for the spring and summer. And if you don't have a garden, I'm going to taste of one. If you don't have a garden, um, they're pretty cheap at the store this time of the year. That's just about perfect. Now I'm going to put my lid on this. And see, I can shake it every once in a while and make sure they're all getting a bath. I'll set that on the side, and now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and peel this because I don't want peeling in what I'm going to do next, but I just wanted to show y'all how to make it have a pretty scalloped look to it. Okay, so now we're going to make uh, the little salad that I was telling you about, and I just cut my cucumbers in half, Then I put the flat side down, cut them again. And I just cut me some pieces. Now, a lot of times I would use the purple onion for this, but guess what? I've already peeled this yellow onion, and it's a sweet yellow onion. So I'm just going to use some more of it in this salad instead of peeling me something else. And I'm not going to put a lot of onion. And you want just a chunky cut. Just enough for flavor. Run to the store the other day. I looked like I was uh, in a disaster area. Let me tell you, I had my gloves on and my mask on, and I had uh, Clorox wipes with me. It's okay, I'm taking care of me. And I just want chunks of tomato. Okay, now, I'm going to put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper on this. 
and then we're going to put the dressing on it. Just a snitch. I don't want it real salty. And some black pepper. And then the dressing for this is uh, Italian. And I'm using just Kroger's brand Zesty Italian. And what happens is the, the juice from the tomatoes kind of gets in with that uh, Italian dressing. And it makes it good. You know, I think I'm going to add just a, like you're salting something, just a tad of onion and garlic powder. Very good and easy to make and something that y'all can get you a couple of cucumbers and whip it up. Okay, so you've got the cucumbers that are marinating. And the salad that's basically marinating in the Italian dressing and the seasonings. Now you could add some um, Italian seasoning if you wanted to to that. But it's good just, just using the dressing on it. Uh, you could add it, and I may later add a little spat, splash of the rice vinegar. Another thing I'm going to tell y'all that my mom used to do. She would fry bacon real crisp and break the bacon up. And then she would have mustard greens, but you can do it with spinach as well. And she would have her greens ready. Sometimes she would put a little purple onion in it, or green onions, but generally she just did the greens. She'd pour that hot bacon grease and bacon over it and toss it. That would wilt the greens, and she'd put just a splash of vinegar in it. That's a good side dish too. And of course, if you want to add salt and pepper, but... Um, we always look forward to that. It was good. Dad always had a green patch. So when the greens started coming up, we got to wanting some of those mustard greens because mustard's a little bit, a little tangy, got a little bite to it. And uh, so she didn't use the, the turnips and the collards for that. She used mustard. But I've done it uh, with uh, spinach. But you can do it with kale. You can do it. Swiss chard is good done like that. So that's another little salad side that y'all can make that maybe you would enjoy for something different. I hope you enjoyed this. We got a hot summer coming up. You're going to need some something that's just kind of refreshing, but it'll kind of hit the spot. I think this will do it. Uh, you might have made it before, but every now and then, something that's old to me is brand new to somebody else, and I love it when it's like that. So... <clears throat> Until next time, my friends, take care of yourself. Try to have patience at home with everybody crowded in the house together. Make some good memories. Plant some flowers. Uh, mow your yard. Pull the weeds. Do something to relieve your stress besides yapping at each other. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you in a day or two. I thought I would show y'all my plate. I've got my salami and saltine and some more little crackers and some of both of the salads, and I'm going to have... <clears throat> sit down and have me a, <clears throat> a snack here.